Care Force 2008 held their annual flu shot campaign for the community on St. Croix earlier today. News Channel 8's Wes Small has the details. Here at Care Force 2008, uh, Dr. Cora Christian, coordinator, along with some other folks here. Let's get right to it. And you're with ViMed, I understand. I'm VI Medical Institute. My name is Moncita Diaz, and I'm the Care Force project manager. All right. And we all know Dr. Christian. We do. Eugene Scanzara, and I'm with ARP Services in Washington, D.C. I'm Nancy Alliker. I'm with United Health Group out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. All right. Um, well, let's 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 go to the AARP then. What does this mean uh, for your members with flu shots and, and this initiative? And it's a great turnout. What does this mean for your people? Uh, it's more than just members. It's the community. Uh, we try to go into the communities and and help lift everybody up. And our members are the ones who support this, and are the volunteers. It's not for members. It's for everybody else. And this is really an example of the volunteer arm that ARP offers the communities across the country and in the territories. Is the timing really significant after this hurricane? You know, one of the first things I get, make sure you check on your elderly neighbors, your seniors and stuff, but a lot of them look lost in a time of emergency. And now it seems as though they're almost at ease, like Dr. Cora Christian said, to get some AC, not just about a flu shot, but just to talk to somebody, hold somebody's hand, you know, have somebody rub their hair, rub their back and say, you know, you matter to us. I think uh, one of the important pillars of ARP is connecting and I think people need to connect in their community and I think after uh, a, a trauma in the community like your hurricane is one where you need to come back you need to see everybody else you need to know that everybody else is safe even though there's a few trees down you still got to make sure your neighbors okay and that's a good way to make you feel good inside that you're okay too and, and one of the things is that I've been pushing national AARP to be sure that everything that they do for every other state they do for the territories and the commonwealth of puerto rico so i think someone on his level coming because he is very high on the food chain someone at his level coming and seeing what really matters to their members that they come out that they're supported really is what i wanted to achieve so that when he goes back he says no although we're small in fact we're tiny that the people in the virgin islands need all of the services of arp just as much as a big state like new york or california all right united healthcare yes um you guys have been here for years and uh, i've had your insurance before i plan to get it again what does this mean for you? Well, similarly, it's very consistent with our overall mission, which is helping Americans, all Americans, live healthier lives. And so we have, we've been down here, we've been a major supporter of Care Force, a, a huge um, fan um, of Care Force and the work that they do down here. And, and again, it's about connecting, it's about being in the community, it's about making sure that all Americans have access to services and good information. Okay, thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Well, we One got two more things. I got Hobenza coming because Hovenza has been the prime sponsor in reference to he's, he's, he's uh, in reference I didn't see what was the pre and now we have a representative from Hovenza a good corporate sponsor with a surprise uh, donation uh, uh, well, for care more more than they may think <laughs> <laughs> did you know about this Mike yes I did <laughs> we're very proud to be a, a sponsor of care force uh, we think it's a, a terrific activity for the community uh, and again, very proud. I'm very proud of my staff as well. Yeah, they give they give all of the flu shots, all of the supplies, and then in addition to that, the nurses and their doctor is allowed to come for the week and participate with a, just a skeleton staff back at Hovenza. But without Hovenza, we could not do it. We just could not do it. So although he's a little bit shy, it's important that when you do great things that you're recognized for it. And you know, the importance of the flu shot is that we've moved from a 3% to 42.5%. I want to talk to the other 48% that's out there that hasn't got the flu shot that are seniors. This is life-saving. This is really important. This is common sense defense. So please, in St. Thomas, you're going to have two more days. I know this broadcast is not going to happen until this evening, but if you haven't gotten that care force, your flu shot or your pneumovax, go to your doctor's office. Ask them to give it to you. It is life-saving, especially for diabetics. But now, even children, the new recommendation is from age six months all the way through life. So everyone needs to get their flu shot. And in fact, I'm willing to give both of these individuals here from the media their flu shot right here and now. 
I guess that's why the camera's shaking right now. Okay, well, on that note, I'll wrap it up. Here we are at Care Force 2008. It's a packed house. Good corporate sponsors like Covenza, AARP, United Health Group, uh, the VI National Guard, countless others. Our delegate to Congress, senators, everyone's here. Make sure you get your flu shots. I'm here at Canagata Ballpark. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.